What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So, guys, Gilbert Arenas has been going viral. Um, and he's a funny guy. We'll give him that. Very entertaining. Uh, I was talking to my brother, and he was like, yo, man, I had no idea uh, Gilbert Arenas was that funny. And yeah, he Gilbert Arenas is a hell of funny. I went and I super chatted over there one day, and uh, he kind of made some jokes about my name. He's a funny guy. I, I can tell that the class clown, and I mean, this career is great for him. Unfortunately, he be hanging out with the boy Nick Young, which I don't have no problem with Nick Young. He, they both from Cali. Shout out to my brother Nick Young. But Nick Young, um, you know, that pairing of those two, because we kind of heard that Nick Young uh, might be doing some other things, in his life, which is okay, right? And, and, and so this is why this is so shady, but I, I want to I wanna talk about this. So they were asking who can twerk better between Meg Thee Stallion and Saucy Santana, okay? I'm going to play this clip. I'm going to come back. Uh, but, you know, I just want to say, you know. Look, the, it threw me off. It right? did. I knew no, it was going to throw you no, off. That's why I, I said. I've never at, seen somebody yeah. with nails and the beard. Mm-hmm. I, that, that was a problem. It just threw me. It threw me off. And then and then when I hit the video, twerk. Did you like it? Damn. You like the twerk video? <laughs> he said it's like water. What did he say? that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I go lie. Stop. Like, no, no, lie. no. Stop. Like, stop. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not rolling, bro. No. no I I'm mean, all I'm saying, if I had the if I had the rate between who's better, him I'm trying to see if him or Megan the Stallion. Stop, <laughs> stop, man. I don't no. know who I'm gonna throw my dollars to, dog. <laughs> a good show is a good show. <laughs> Uh, hey, it's a good show. Right, hey, hey, sauce, hey, sauce. Listen, I got rules. You got you. Listen, you can't talk. <laughs> no, no. And you no. can't look at me. No. If you don't, look, I got I got hundred those. I got listen. I got the where hun- does money come from? I got I got the honeys. Listen, so hey, listen. I don't mind. I don't know if you dealt with. <laughs> I don't know if is that what you was doing. I was like this. He was like this. I was leaving it. He was leaving it on the dresser. Hey, Zazie, I'm being there like this. Yeah. Shaking my neck. Can you say that? Is that? Nah, stop. You can't do that? Nah, nah. nah. Hell no. Nah. What you doing with all this money, man? No, I'm saying, how are you supposed to? How are you supposed to get a lap dance from the, the dude no, and you straight? To, you gotta sneak it to him. You gotta play too. <laughs> You gotta say, you see that right there? <laughs> you see that? Right? You see? You see that right there? <laughs> That's all you play. <laughs> You can't laugh. See, that's that's why you got in trouble. All right, I'm done. You can't. The all I've said is, <laughs> it, it was twerking just a little bit better than, than making the style. It kind of caught me off guard. So like, wait, I had to double back to make sure it's the same person. That's it. Mm-hmm. So Gilby, we're gonna make this real quick for you since my fuckers act like they don't know what the f- going on. I don't know what the f- was funny when you talking to my and Nick. You laughing? Oh ha ha ha! He a homeboy. He a homeboy. He not a rapper. I am a mother rapper. That's how I make most of my money. You better check in with your niece, your nephew, your grandma, your mama, your daughters. I don't know what the I don't know who the you is. Tap the in. You can find a whole lot about Saucy Santana. Second of mother I know you about to go jack the mother to that twerk video because you put it up too many mother times on the mother camera for you to be so he he mother and ha ha. Keep watching this ass and I know it's like mother water. You'll enjoy that later. And mother stop mother me, bitch. All that mother giggling, get in the mother you about me. So guys, guys, you've heard that, okay? The way that these guys are joking about that, um, <laughs> I'm like, yo, why do y'all think that's funny? I'm, you, you, do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, especially Nick Young, because he didn't have those court sort of allegations before. So I'm like, why, why is it that, and I saw the comments, right? And they were like, you know, all these black men are going that way now. And you know, you had Saucy Santana 
him saying, um, you know, hey, hit me up. I've been I've been missing you for a while, or I've been thinking about you. You've been my crush since I was little. And I'm like, when you, and when you look at Gilbert Arena's show for a lot of brothers, we thinking like, okay, woo, man, you know, we, we got a brother that's 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 really from the you know from the streets, and you know, you know, really a brother that's really breaking it down, that's really going in hard on on some of the three hundred fours and and doing all that. Then it's like he comes with with something like this, which I mean, okay, he's being honest or whatever, but it was like, why you had to pull the money out, bro? Why did you have to pull the money out, bro? And I know academics want to say something, but and then it just kind of leads to the whole perception that black men, you see, that's that's all oh, them black men is like that. Them black men are gay. And that's the that's the stigma. And again, I I, I probably believe that that's a joke. It's a bad joke because I, 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 you've never heard anything about Gilbert Arenas, right? Never heard anything about him. Nick Young, yes. Um, Gilbert Arenas, we haven't heard about it. And, and as many enemies as Gilbert Arenas have, like Kwame Brown and folks like that, you know that would have come up about him. Okay? So I'm just thinking that it's complete entertainment from Gilbert Arenas trolling. Joe, Joe Button trolls like that. You know, people say that Joe Button is not um, gay or bisexual, but he says that just to troll people. So maybe that's what that is. But what, what they don't know is that you're adding to the stereotype about black men that all black men are like Gilbert Arenas or, or they like also like men. And, you know, no matter how much money they got, they don't want women. That's all they're going to say. All you black men are like that. And I just really wish that the brother in the future would stay away from those sorts of jokes if that's not his sexuality. If it is, fine. But if it's not, he shouldn't joke like that, not only because of him, but it also because of the guys. Because a lot of dudes is watching these independent media, you know, and we've heard the same thing with, with Shannon Sharp. Um... You know, Shannon Sharp might be X, Y, and Z, you know. And so now what they're thinking is all these guys that got these platforms, you're going to hear all these conspiracy theories. Okay, well, it makes sense why Gilbert is blowing up. It makes sense why Club Shay Shay is blowing up because they're out here doing this stuff. And then, you know, look at Dwayne Wade and all. It just adds too much fuel to the fire, which don't need to be there. If you're not that kind of brother, if you are that kind of brother, then, you know, you should go ahead on and say that. So then people know, you know, uh, but, but for just go out there and just be, you know, commenting on the man twerking skills and all that, which, you know, for me, I don't even know why anybody would watch that. If you're saying that you're not into men, I don't know why you would watch it. You know, I don't, I mean, I mean, just to, to watch it on TV and like right there, I don't know. Okay. Don't know why you, why you, why, why you're commenting on that at all. You know what I mean? And even if you did watch it, you know, I don't know why you need to talk about it. Let's say you accidentally came across something like that. You know what I mean? And um, ain't no need to talk about it. We, we all in life have come across something that, <laughs> that we shouldn't have and don't need to talk about it. And this is one time, I'm, I'm going to tell the story, right? I'm going to talk about it all the way. I was in, um, I was like 19. I went to an adult video store. <laughs> And uh, it's like 99, 2000. So I walk in there and uh, I was going into one of these little arcade stalls, right? So I'm about to go in there late at night. I pull open the curtain. It's a dude in there that's, you know, because you're not supposed to be in there pleasuring yourself. So uh, it's an old fat black dude in there with his pants down, just going to town on himself, man. I'm like, you know what? I, I bust out loud, ran out of the store. You know what I mean? But, you know, things like that can happen in, in, in life. You know, you ever just walk into a room and see something you ain't supposed to see? All right, cool. But you don't really never go out there and just start making, like, public talks about that. Because it's not really necessary. So, again, man, he needs to kind of watch that language. Brother, 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 please, brother. You know, you're a successful black man. you got other black men out there that, um, you know, that are rooting for you, man. And we don't want to be, you know, classified. You know, and the negative stereotype, because, you know, when, when people see successful black men, 
that got their stuff together, they're looking at a Gilbert Arenas. They're looking at Club Shay Shay. They're looking at a lot of these brothers. And as soon as you say, oh, well, the reason why he's successful is because he's gay. So, guys, what do you think it's your boy, Shredder Jackson? Back at it again with the episode of Celebrity Junk. Which is your fire? You do, Shredder Bell? We're out.